Hey guys, welcome back to another video in this channel. My name is Abraham Leal and today we're going to be talking about a couple of things that have been happening in the next to the family. First of all, we have released two new courses this week. We have released the Maya 2023 guide, which is a complete guide to the Maya 23 uh, workflow and it's going to allow you to create some amazing stuff. And we've also just released, probably just saw it yesterday, our uh, promo video for the complete guide to Mari. Mari is a really, really, really powerful texturing software. I actually learned I learned Mari uh, several years ago when I was still a student, but I made the jump to Substance Painter and I haven't really touched Mari in the last couple of years. So I'm definitely going to be uh, taking a look at that course because I, I really, really want to learn a little bit of that uh, tool as well. It's primarily used in BFX, however, it can be used for any sort of production and it has some really, really powerful things. I think one of the most important ones uh, that a lot of people talk about is the ability to generate procedural textures in a more like efficient way than what, um, what Substance can do and also the fact that you can work with units. So I remember when I used it, I created this um, uh, like sci-fi thing and I was just in like 10 2K UDEMs and it was running so, so fast, even though it was a really old computer that I had back then. So if you are thinking about working with really, really big UV spaces or really, really complex texturing things, then you should definitely take a look at Mari. Make sure to check like the bar uh, over there, uh, probably with the, with the promo. Uh, other than that, we're going to have our live stream this week. I have not forgotten about our live streams. And in the live stream, I'm going to continue working on the Lighthouse, which is one project that I know uh, some of you guys have mentioned in the comments. And um, I definitely want to I want to pick it up. I think we're going to have to do a little bit of a, of a rework of certain things because when we did the switch from Unreal Engine 4.27 to Unreal Engine 5, we we uh, like got a lot of cool things like a Nanite. And, uh, of course, we got also, what was it? A lumen, which is the the uh, real time uh, rendering thing uh, that has like the GI and stuff, really really cool. Uh, GI GI stands for global illumination, so light bounces in a very natural and very nice way. However, we did lose a displacement, and there's like a couple of things that we're gonna have to rethink about. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be doing. I think I think the lighthouse is a good idea. I want to teach you guys a little bit about materials. We're gonna be doing that during our live stream. So let's jump onto my screen right here. Hey, where is it? There we go. Not that one. Cool. So um, on, it's going to be on Tuesday 28th uh, for me. In Mexico, it's going to be Tuesday 28th, 10 p.m. roughly. Maybe a little bit earlier, maybe like 9 p.m. depending. I, I've, been the <laughs> I've been getting real tired by the end of the day uh, this past couple of weeks and past couple of months. So I don't want to like over over uh, work myself. So it's going to be a night for me. It's probably going to be early morning for you guys. We're going to have live stream, just usual chats and stuff. There's also been a lot of questions about the portfolio review. Remember, guys, if you're new to the channel, we do one portfolio review every single month, and it's usually at the middle middle of the month. So next portfolio review is going to be July 15 or sorry, 16 and 17. On the first days of July, I am going to be uploading. I'm actually going to make one like portfolio reviews open video so that you guys know that the portfolio reviews are open. There's going to be a Google link on the description on the video down here. And if you click there, you just drop a little like Word file or note, notepad or whatever uh, with like a little message if you want. And then your link to your portfolio. And uh, that's the way I'm going to be able to, to, to take a look. But today, I was I was wondering, and um, one of the things that really got me into this sort of like burnout state, you guys probably heard, have, heard, have heard about this, when you work a lot and you're just like not feeling it, um, a burnout is really, really bad, right? And uh, I, I was trying to find like the answer of why I was feeling a little bit burnt out with all of the things, like I have the classes I have, you guys here in YouTube, uh, the premium courses, my, my work at the studio with the museum and all that stuff. And I realized that I was not doing things like every single thing about 3D that I was doing was work related and I wasn't really doing anything for fun. And uh, one of the reasons why I decided to become a 3D artist is because I want to have fun, right? Like it, it's fun to do characters, it's fun to do things, it's fun to learn. So um, today we're gonna start with a new mini project. We're gonna do a, a small series. It might take a couple of sessions. I'm still not sure. I don't want to like over uh, plan things either. I, I think that uh, certain times it worked really well with, for this kind of stuff. I just want to let it flow. It's going to be a shorter one, though. We're not going to go like with the lighthouse with like a super um, immersive one. And um, I want to do a sci-fi helmet. A lot of people have been asking, and that's one thing I definitely need to polish. I want to show you some of the tricks and techniques that I know, and it's also going to allow me to, to have some fun. So for those of you guys that are not aware of, there is this game called Xenoblade Chronicles. Some of you, I'm pretty sure most of you have heard about this one. Uh, there's two games, Xenoblade Chronicles 1 and Xenoblade Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I actually haven't played one. I played two and I really liked it. It's a, it's a really cool game, uh, both the base game and the expansion. And uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is going to be releasing really, really, really soon. 
and it's looking quite 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 nice i really like the way that the um that the game is looking and um one thing that i realized is that the new like art direction that they're following is this sort of um again like sci-fi they went for this a uh, very um, all of this is official so i'm not spoiling anything hopefully you guys have seen some of this stuff already if you're fans of the series but they're going for this like sort of like mecha sci-fi stuff uh, things right and uh, i thought hey what if we made a helmet like in sort of like this, like Xenoblade, uh, Xenoblade, like, uh, visual language, if you wish. Uh, I'm not gonna be, like, super following it, but just, like, uh, inspired, like, thinking about, like, how can we adapt this, right? And I'm gonna show you a technique that I learned from a friend, uh, ooh, a couple of years ago. Uh, and we're, today we're gonna talk about, like, the, the planning process, the design process, which is one thing that I think gets overlooked a lot of the times, like, normally when, when you're, like, learning something or you're watching a tutorial they usually focus on the technical side of things i want to use this video to focus on the on the artistic side of things like why we do the things we do right and uh, we're going to be designing our own helmet now i am going to give you guys this challenge i'm going to show you a nice little creative process that we're going to be using and i would like to see if any one of you would like to try it out maybe you can submit it for the next portfolio review so it's two weeks i think this is roughly the time that we're going to be um working on this one uh, every now and then and um yeah i think it could be a, a nice one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for one of uh, my um, doo -doo -doo, one of my characters here. There we go. Morcan is this the one? I mean, this one works, but I actually want it's not this one. Where is it? There we go. This one right here. Cool. Yeah. So I'm not sure if I use this one on the um, what's the word? On the course uh, with a hard, hard, hard surface course, there's a couple of things I want to change. I think his mouth is a little bit small. Let's just change the proportions there a little bit. I think his nose is a little bit too pointy. Just small changes. As you can see, since this is a finished character, or at least like a finished bust, we can play around with this sort of stuff without really like destroying all of the detail. Just make sure that we. Keep it nice and, and clean. There we go. So yeah, we're gonna be using this character as a base. And here's the trick. What I'm gonna do is I am gonna go to document. We are gonna bring the range back to zero. And since eventually we're gonna be uh, like doing the helmet on top of this guy, I'm gonna take like a three quarter uh, view right here we're gonna bring it into Krita. You, now you can use, of course, uh, whatever uh, software you want. I like using Krita due to two reasons. One, it's free. And two, uh, it's, uh, what's the word? Where's the selection tool? That's the only thing. I don't really know all the tools in this one. Uh, uh, you know what? Let's just go to my brush tool. And then I'm right-clicking. And then I'm gonna select my eraser. There we go. There we go. Let's make the size way, way bigger. So uh, it's free and uh, it does not conflict with ZBrush because for some reason the uh, UI on the on ZBrush or the interface on ZBrush has a problem with um, with Huion, which is the tablet that I'm using. I'm not sure if, if a new driver has fixed that or not, but I, I really haven't tried. There we go. So this is gonna be our uh, main like uh, this. Tool. So yeah, so here's the here's the creative process. I, I I really like using this sort of like a random approaches for things. Give me just one second. My f my fan is not on and I'm dying here. There we go. I wish I had a an AC unit, but uh, not yet. <laughs> so um, I really like whenever I need to I. I, I let me rephrase that. I've always considered myself to be a really bad, like, creative person in regards to the visuals. I, I really have a hard time, like, imagining things in my head. I'm really good at coming up with stories and, and like, the, the background, the lore, the, like, the um, the information about the characters. But I, I, I really struggle with the visuals. I'm not, like, a very visual person. So I that's why I mostly work with a reference and stuff. Because if you tell me, hey, draw a mech, I'm just going to draw, like, something really, really ugly. So uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select, first of all, a random animal. 
So I'm gonna write random animal and there's this random animal generator. And as you can see, we get six options. And uh, this were random, I'm gonna rerun it again so that it's completely fair. There we go. So what I wanna do is I wanna create this sort of like sci-fi helmet, but I wanna have some certain like motifs to it, right? Like, like uh, I want people to look at it and like, be like, oh, this one is inspired in this sort of like animal. I'm not sure if you guys um, uh, watched uh, Power Rangers. I was a huge Power Ranger fan when I was a little boy. And uh, my favorite one, or one of my favorite ones was this, I, I think it was called Wild Force. I think this was one of like the last ones I saw. Um, yeah, this one. They had like this little like <laughs> spheres with the animals and I really liked this one. And they had this special ep special episode where there was like a crossover with all of the different Power Rangers. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're doing something like that. Like the helmet's not gonna be like this, not so obvious, but there's gonna be a little bit of a, of a motif to it, right? So to make this things uh, again, a little bit more random and to show you that I'm, I'm not uh, pre-planning this and again, let those, those creative juices flow. Let's just roll it this six. And let's see what we get. And we get the number five. An ADAX. Ooh, that's kind of cool. ADAX. So I'm going to look for an ADAX. And let's, let's take a look at what, what these guys are. Oh, no, not maps. Images. So it's this sort of like antelope sort of thing. Uh, I think uh, he, here's where we need to start like thinking about what are the defining features of this element or of this guy. And I see two or three defining features. First of all, of course, the shape, right? Like the sort of like elongated shape. But it has the horns, which are, are really like a characteristic of this guy. It, like they don't look like a ram horns or like a rhinoceros horns. They look like, uh, in this case, adax horns. And then it's really cool. They have this sort of like X shape motif on the front and, and this like black spot on the, on the forehead. So that's the kind of stuff that you want to look for in nature to, to inspire your designs. And, um, and here's where we're going to start like uh, creating something. So I'm going to press B. Let's go back to our, our brushes. And let's start uh, sketching. So we're going to start with the first sketch. And sorry if I'm not like you, if you can see me. Let me see if we can. Can you see me there? A little, almost there. I changed my setup a little bit in the last couple of weeks, so uh, things are slightly different. So there we go. So I know we were gonna have like this sort of like horns, and now we need to to transform this like super long horns into something that makes sense like sci-fi-ish wise. So maybe like some like antennas or something, right? So it's gonna be like this. Uh, the visor, um, which every single like sci-fi helmet has, here's where I think we can use like the X motif for the visor, you can kind of like following the shape of the of the head, we would get something like this. Like you would see in, like, in sort of like a round, like round shape or something, right? So this would be the visor. Uh, and then we'll have like this. Now, uh, here's the thing, like sci-fi helmets usually don't have like super long things on the, on the head because they kind of gets on the way of like a ship or something. So this is again where, where we need to rethink about how, how are we gonna adapt this into something that's functional. I always like to follow the creative process with this sort of like functional uh, thing in mind. So looking again, like they have the sort of like snout. So, so I think we're gonna go for, so for some sort of like voice box or something over here. Like this. And here's where we also need to reference the armors of, in this case, the game. And uh, we can take a look at the, uh, like, so, so like the design that they're going for. And as you can see, it's relatively, relatively simple, right? Like it's not like super, it's not like Gundam style or like Transformer style where you have like things upon things upon things. So yeah, let's go for, like I really like this sort of like really clean design. So that means that I can actually have this horns. I think I'm gonna add like a couple more. This sort of like, audio things or something. Um, now, this this long shapes definitely start giving it sort of uh, like, um, I would say, uh, I, I, I don't wanna say like feminine vibe, but more like stylized, elongated vibe. And uh, if this is gonna be a male character, I think I wanna go for a little bit more like a heavy, heavy thing. So one thing that we can do is definitely buff up the, uh, like the other parts of the helmet. Like maybe he's gonna have like a big, big, big mass right here. Let me blacken this thing a little bit more so we don't see the eyes and we can kind of like see the helmet. Here's also a good moment in which we can just like move this around. Oh my God, I 
I actually wanted this to be um, a separate layer, but that's fine. Let's do it over here. So if we go back to the brush again, we have, let's do a side view. I think side views are gonna allow me to, to um, think on this thing a little bit better. It's gonna be this sort of like, kind of like a cross shape over here for the visor. And then here on the front, on this like heavy, heavy plate. Um, I'm not I'm not the best guy at mech design. I'm gonna be completely honest. But the things that I do know about this is that you usually want to follow like certain shapes on the on the head. Uh, so for instance, there's this uh, bone that's called the zygomatic arch right here, which I think would be a nice idea for like a plate. It's gonna be like like the shadow part of the plate and then the light part of the plate. So when you see it from the front, it's gonna have like a little bit of an angle, um, and then the horns would be coming from here. Again, I think it would be nice to have like two long horns. Like this. So they're gonna be like the main horns. And we are of course gonna give it this sort of like sci-fi-ish look, right? They're not gonna be like perfectly, perfectly straight. I think a plate right there might be a good idea. Like here's where we would normally see the ears. And uh, again, following a little bit of what I saw here, like this, I really like that sort of like a microphone sort of thing. I think it would be a cool, cool idea to have that sort of shape over there as well. I'm thinking this is gonna be like slightly babbled as well. And maybe like a couple of cut lines here and there. Uh, again, uh, following this sort of like snout shape. This is uh, another thing that I like to reference are like halo helmets. So if we go for halo helmets. Ah, uh, there's a lot of information here, a lot of designs. Um, Again, I'm not the best guy. I actually want to see, let me know in the comments. This is an idea that, that I've had. Uh, what would you guys think about having like a guest artist uh, on the on the channel? Like maybe just like an interview uh, of, of them talking a little bit about what they do. Maybe not. it's not going to be like a tutorial, but just like a, like a get to know uh, other people, other approaches. I think that might be a, a fun idea. And I do have one uh, friend of mine. Uh, his name is Ed's Fox. Well, that's not his name, but that's his artistic name. I think I've mentioned him before. He's really good at mech design. He has a really, really cool uh, mech design process. He does a lot of like robots and armors. He's worked for Magic the Gathering and uh, he's a really, really good concept artist. Maybe it would be a, a cool idea to, to record a video with him. Let me know what you think. Um, I think you, you guys might appreciate that. So yeah, now if we take a look at the Halo helmets, like we can find certain shapes and things that look and work very nice. Like I really like this uh, piece right here. And uh, it's it's always mentioned and, and said that art, it's, about, it's all about uh, like gathering inspiration from other pieces. But it's also a little bit about like stealing. It's not properly stealing, but it's just getting some sort of inspiration. So this one, for instance, has the sort of like plates going forward like this, being held by the, by the helmet. And then there's like another like something there, right? Again, this doesn't doesn't have to be identical, but it doesn't mean that we can't use uh, or gather some inspiration from those sort of things. It's perfectly, perfectly fine. Now, usually helmets, uh, they are open here on the, on the bottom part, so you would expect the helmet to, to finish like right here. Back here, what do we wanna do back here? Let's take a look at the, at the animal again, the ADAX. So I'm trying to see if he has like in the specific like I like, got like I like this like black spot that he has. He has a hump. That could also be a, a sort of motif. So I think I'm gonna go for the sort of like like layer effect. So maybe we're gonna cut another plate right there at the at the top of the head. And it's gonna be like one plate. And there's gonna be another one. Yeah, I really like this view from the front. I'm I'm wondering if we should add like another one, like like six. Uh, like six horns. I think it could look interesting. I have another horn coming from the back here. I think that could look like something in the string. Silhouette is definitely one thing that we're looking for. So, so changing the silhouette and, and getting something to look quite interesting is our approach. Like I can imagine that the that the visor is gonna have the sort of like honeycomb effect, right? You guys can picture that. So yeah, there we go. And again, a little bit of a layer. The back here, like a like another plate, the final layer. And that's it. This is where the where the head would go. We're not gonna do the full armor, but if we, we would, I would definitely go for like a like a heavy heavy something there. 
cool. So uh, yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Now let's do a very quick. Uh, this is what I recommend for anyone that's not a 3D artist, or sorry, a 2D artist, that if you don't know how to draw, like, if you can do this, like, doodle as I did, then you're, you're good to go. But it's it's important that, especially when you're designing this sort of thing, that you do have an, a little bit of an idea of how, how things are going to look in the 3D world. So I'm going to go for this sort of, like, um, three-quarter view here for the head. I know that we have that one over there, but I want to do it over here as well. So this is going to be, like, the rough shape of the, of the helmet. And again, we will have, like, the horn going back in space. Can imagine a little bit of perspective. Also, let me know if you would like to learn a little bit. I, I'm again, I'm not the best one at, at drawing, but I, I know the basics of like, perspective and stuff. So we'll have like the the X shape visor over here, following the sort of like black spot that the that the eight X has, and then here this thing will come forward. How this? plates over here and then this like a could be like a muscle or some sort of like respirator system something like that and then up here I have this like big plate and then we have like the, like the ear over here I probably want something here as well some sort of like, like another plate and again this is the kind of stuff that you can't really see on on this like side view because everything's flat so that's why the perspective view is so important it's gonna allow you to to understand a little bit better like what's the kind of stuff that you're going for there we go so that doesn't look half bad again i would imagine this to be like a really really heavy armor and uh yeah that's uh that's one idea the ideal thing whenever you're doing this sort of thing is to of course give it a couple of goes like don't don't just uh, settle with the first one that you're doing in this case I'm just gonna do like some quick um, quick sketches like maybe again following let's do let's do like three main ideas over here and uh, one of my teachers my uh, one of our concept teachers says whenever you're like uh, brainstorming don't don't spend too much time like we definitely spend too much time like thinking about this one and that might not even be like the best idea that we have right now so Maybe we're like, okay, what's one thing I definitely want to keep? And again, taking a look at the at the character right here, the at the animal, the Adex, that X shape that they have on the on their face, like it's it's super close. But as you can see, it's, it's kind of like split in the middle. So why not? On a second one, we go for for this sort of like effect, right? Where it's like a like split in half. Like I like that. That looks cool. And then the horns, maybe we'll do like slightly bigger horns over here. Uh, and what we missed, we missed this little like, section there, like the zygomatic arc, there we go. So, something like that. And then we create like a cut line here. Maybe like another cut line over here. Definitely some plates. I really like the ear design, so let's repeat it over here. And there we go, that's, a, that's another idea, right? And then we go on this one right here, and we're like, okay, um, let's go back for like our traditional like X design here. But let's do it like, like super curved, right? Something like this. And uh, we can say, maybe we'll go like a kind of like a samurai route, and we'll go for like some plates coming down here, kind of like the ears, like some floppy ears or something. And again, the horns. And then on the front, if we take a look at the Halo helmets again for inspiration, maybe we'll go for like. Uh, uh, what do we have here? They have like a, like a frontal like box right here that's like merged with everything else, right? And then let's do one more. Uh, in this case, let's do a like full on visor. And then the X is just like section lines going through the through the visor. Both of them are visor, like a, like a full full hooded visor, if you wish. And then the horns are gonna go like really, really tall like this. Again, I really like the earpiece idea. And maybe it has like a couple of hoses on the side. All right, so all that stuff, like all of these ideas, they're, they're just like my brain bringing stuff out. And then that's one of the most important things uh, because we are very, very 
or more often than not, when we're thinking about creating something, we, we just grab whatever we liked at first and then we just run with it. And it's not that it's bad, but you could find something a little bit more interesting. So for instance, I really like this horn thing right here, like this whole like back part, I, I think it's cool. I'm not like particularly fond of this one, but I really like this one right here. Like uh, this like double like X idea, but with a, like a cut in the middle, I, I really like that. So now if we take everything and let's, uh, let's do another, let me go really quickly into ZBrush. Let's go again into this sort of like three quarter view. I'm gonna use the snipping tool real quick. So we only get the face. And now what we can do, let's move this to the side. There we go. Now what we can do for our final like idea before we jump onto the actual uh, modeling, which is gonna be next video, of course, is we put that into a sketch, into like a nice sketch here that's gonna it's gonna look interesting. So I'm gonna go for like a yellow, um, like orange visor. And as I mentioned, we're gonna have this sort of like round shape, right? And in that round shape, we're gonna have the, the X. So I would expect the X to go in this sort of like direction. Let's just paint all of this in. These are called paint overs, by the way, very, very common. Especially when you're working like a, like an actor or something, uh, it's, it's very common. We have the horns, and then we we'll have the like the ear pieces that we've uh, mentioned. So sort of like extruded elements. I like those. This whole thing is gonna be pretty much like flat. So all of this is gonna be quite flat. Maybe we can add like one plate right here and like a second plate right here, which we'll need to mimic on this side. And here we'll have like the whole like breathing apparatus. Again, as long as you understand your, your concept and your drawing, that's fine. If you are a concept artist, then of course you need to, to draw this in such a way that everyone understands, but uh, I think that works, this works fine. Uh, now here, I actually like this plate a little bit more than the one that I did in the side view. So it's just gonna be like a, like this sort of like plate over here, and then the whole back side. So there we go. Uh, this is a nice, again, just like creative process that you can use to to get the ideas out there. And I want you guys, if you're gonna be following this challenge, if you wanna do it at uh, the same time as I do, I want you guys to try and do your own. Like don't don't copy something and just do it. That's that's I think one of the things that I always mention on your uh, on your guys' uh, portfolio reviews. Whenever I'm reviewing portfolios, I always ask them, uh, especially when they're like presenting some calls that are really, really complete. I was like, okay, you really know how to do something uh, following a concept. Now you need to show me that you know how to do something on your own. Like you can create something that's completely yours and talks about your style as an artist because everyone has a different style. Like I cannot match anyone else's style because I do things my way and that's like my artistic voice. So it's very important that we get or let that artistic voice speak and have like one or two pieces in our portfolio that show that sort of information, okay? So this project is gonna be code name, uh, what's the name of the animal again? Uh, code name ADAX, so it's the ADAX helmet. Now we can we can create like a, like a very nice description like attack and defense, dual axis, uh, communication, whatever, like we can create our, our crazy uh, sci-fi history. That's uh, where I mentioned that I am a little bit better at like justifying why we have what we have. It's very important that we have a, a concept. So I really like this direction. We're gonna be following about, I would say like 70% of this direction, then combine it with like this visor right here that I really like. And uh, that's gonna be the next video. So on top of this guy right here, we're gonna be building the helmet and he's gonna be our pilot for this uh, project. So welcome to this mini project guys. Um, don't forget also before I leave, I always forget I, I should have done this at the beginning, but if you haven't checked, we do have our Skillshare promotion, so check this one out. 
Hey guys, Abraham here. I just wanted to remind you guys that we upload all of our courses to Skillshare. Skillshare is this amazing site where you can access a ton of different content to learn, improve, and grow as an artist. We have all of our courses available to watch and learn from right now in Skillshare. You can check the description down here. And Skillshare is offering one free month trial to their premium membership. With this membership, you're gonna be able to access all of our courses and watch and learn all of the amazing things that we cover with all of the softwares. So, what are you waiting for? Check Skillshare down here below. There we go. So yeah, welcome to this project, guys. This is part one. We're going to be taking a look at uh, blocking and sculpting in the next part. And I'm actually going to take this through the whole process. So we're going to probably do retopo uh, texturing and, and like a really nice presentation down there. That's the, that's the idea to have a very nice final piece for this specific helmet. So yeah. Let us know in the comments what you think. Do you like this project? Is it looking promising? And uh, also make sure to leave like comments, options, things that you want to talk about. I'll be happy. Uh, let me know what you think about the interview thing. That could be another uh, like thing that we can do here in the channel. And uh, that's it for now, guys. Thank you very much. Have a nice, nice uh, weekend. And I'll see you back on the next one. Bye-bye.